solid run. I don't think he'll get the lead, but that was a good run. And remember, he has to get a score of 25. Oh, he got hooked up on that van and got a 23. Not quite good enough to take the lead. So even though you got cut short by that van, you had a good run. You felt good about it. Oh, I felt real good about it. It's a shame I got cut short. I had a few more things in my mind, you know. Go out, go out there and turn it on for the fans. I, I'm pretty pleased with what I did, but I had a little more to show them, you know. Still to come here on Monster Jam, we've got pro stadiums, plus our pit stop question, and a lot more freestyle like John Cesar. Well, I want to win. I mean, there is no doubt in my mind. There's no other purpose I have been being here. Man, I love this stuff. Where else can you have this much fun? It's awesome. We are back at the Georgia Dome in Atlanta. Hey, log on to USHRA.com for your shirts, your hats, your puff trucks, your videos, and more. And while you're there, don't forget to enter to win the Grave Digger Block Party, a party for you and 50 of your closest friends with Dennis Anderson and the Grave Digger Monster Truck Live. And hey, you want tickets? Well, check out our event page to find out when Monster Jam will be in your neighborhood. All this and more when you log on to USHRA.com. 63,000 here in the Georgia Dome, a sellout crowd. And you know what? Not very many people have taken one of those seats that they paid for. They've been standing <laughs> up almost this whole night. It's like an old line in racing will sell you a seat, but you only need the edge. These people don't even need the edge. They're on their feet. John Seesock in sudden impact. You know, you see a lot of logos on the side of that truck out of Frackville, Pennsylvania. That big Ford with a 572 cubic inch engine. And we're on with the built Ford Tough Cam right now. And we were talking about the corporate sponsors, John being one of the independents. But, you know, John's doing pretty well for himself out there. Getting some folks to get on his program. Firestone's down with him. Napa's with him. Uh, even Jim Crack Cream, uh, uh, Dry Skin Cream has come on board. Because they see John on television. They see the great effort he puts in. He's a class act. And he really represents the sponsor very well. And he is really one determined driver we've seen in the past where just heartbroken when he didn't win an event he wanted to win so bad and uh, he really wants to knock some of these big guns off i'm gonna tell you something else everybody wants to beat everybody everybody's out here to win but the day when it comes that john seesock walks on that stage at a tnn event the rest of the drivers are going to mock him everybody loves this guy he works so hard and he's going to get there this freestyle is pretty good right here. Don't know if he's got enough yet to knock off little Tiger. Because I'm going to tell you, Patterson puts down something to try to beat. Yeah, 25 points. That's the number that all these trucks are shooting for right now. John's another guy who spent a lot of time talking to people who are not racers, people like, like me and you and the fans, to find out what they want to see in freestyle. And you can see him incorporating more momentum, more sick air. I love that big board, I'll tell you. Beautiful I, truck. I can't wait till I get that video game. That I'm going to be a racer full time. You're going to be, you're gonna be sudden impact I'm taking on you on. All right, there he is. Seasock on top of his truck. Sudden impact. And we'll wait and see what the judges will give him. Pretty good run. I think that's about the second best one we've seen. We'll see what the judges think. But I thought John did a solid run. 21 Ooh. points. Not good enough to beat Little Tiger. Your show was really nice. You don't seem pleased, though. No, not really. You know, it, the score was kind of low, and I, I think I could have got more air off the cars. We flipped last week, and I think maybe I was in the back of my head, I was babying it just a little bit, you know, making sure all the, everything's okay. You know, we, all the guys at the garage work 15, 16 hours a night. So you, you, you were feeling their pain, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to make sure we didn't miss nothing, you know. But, I mean, on whole, it wasn't bad. It felt like some of the wheelies were okay. Um, but, you know, there's always next week, and we'll do better. The Pro Stadium trucks are here in the Georgia Dome, and I'll tell you, some great early action. General Lee, you got to love the look of that one, and you tell these guys are pumped up to be on TNN and to be going for the win in front of the sold-out Georgia Dome crowd. Now, we go through the early rounds, and we set it up for what's going to be an awesome semifinal. As you can see, it's even hard to stay on all four wheels sometimes. The Mac Attack will meet on the edge, and then Rick Armbrust brings out that Rancho Ford to take on General Lee. Certainly looking forward to that. The semis of the Pro Stadium trucks will have that in a moment but there's a lot more still to come here on monster jam we're talking big air more freestyle also our jam cam with jim kohler it's gonna be big tonight hang with us the georgia dome is alive with monster trucks now so they know when i'm driving down to my kenworth i'm not the one who's speeding 
Don't give me the ticket. Just wave as I go by. <laughs> no, you guys do a heck of a job. We're proud of you. Don't forget World Finals 3, Saturday, March 23rd, live from Sandpoint Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. Get your tickets today, and if you can't live it live, watch it live on pay-per-view. Contact your local cable provider today for availability and special viewing requirements. You want to be a part of it. Now, let's check out our freestyle points. Five of ten trucks have made their runs. Jeff Patterson deservedly the leader in Little Tiger, but I thought the judges shorted sudden impact a little bit. Here's our jam cam. Through the window, like the Duke boys. I can see that. I know, I, I hate to make it hard on you, because every time they put you guys into putting a camera in a truck, everybody's mad because it's like, they flip a coin, who's got to climb in this thing? I looked on one side and I looked on the other. And I said, you remember that? When I was ripping around, my head was all over. Glasses flew out the window. And the truck stopped. It was straight up and down. And I'm like, OK, undo the seat belt. Wham, and it come down the rest of the way. See, he remembers. That's what happens when you put a camera in there. Tell you what, I'm really liking this jam cam. <laughs> with Jim Kohler tonight, it's something. I don't know if anybody was really ready for Kohler. Who came up with this idea? <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, these fans are ready, aren't they, here yeah. in Atlanta? Again, a sellout crowd, over 63,000. Ready now to go with Blacksmith and Norm Miller. Storm and Norman. Don't you love the look of this truck? 1941 Willys pickup. It's got a 540 cubic inch engine, so it's a this huge engine making about 1,450 horsepower. And you, know, you can feel it and hear it right now in the Georgia Dome. Again, 90 seconds on the clock. You've got to impress the judges. Highest possible score you can get is 30. As you saw just a moment ago, Little Tiger has a 25 in that lead so far. Keep it some good momentum up. Oh, I like On this. two wheels. Yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah, yeah, bicycle life, baby. Crowd likes it. You know, in this part of the game where you're in the second half of the, of the draw order, you've got to come up with something new. You can't just keep show the judge what they've already seen. I like that getting up on two wheels. Give them something to remember Blacksmith by. And when you get down in the second half, a lot of the stuff out on the course has already been torn up. Yeah, exa exactly. Yeah. It's not as impressive as the match. Wow, almost going over. That's worth points. A great save to the judges should be better than flipping it over, and that was a great save. What a job by Norm Miller, the veteran from the West Coast, who saved it after I, I thought that was going over. I'm going to tell you, he's up there with Patterson. This is close. Which one will have the lead after this run? Great job by Storm and Norman Miller and the Blacksmith. We'll see what the judges do. 25 to score to beat. He's done it. Norm Miller, now your leader with 27 points. All right, six guys out of the blocks. You take the lead now with the 27. However, some heavy hitters behind you. As you stand here, do you get nervous knowing that they're up? Oh, yes, I get very nervous. You know, you, you got Mance, you got Pablo, you got Wolverine. I mean, oh, they're awesome, you know, but I went out there, did the best I could, and uh, showed what the Blacksmith is all about. Having scored a 27, would you change anything now after you've done your run? Yes, I'd use rear steer. <laughs> it was broke. <laughs> now on the clock, Wolverine and Brian Bartle. Big Lake, Minnesota, that 2001 custom-built Chevy. Love the look of that truck, and apparently a lot of other people do, too. One of the ones we're talking about, corporate-sponsored Marvel Comics team out of New York City as you go on board with the USHRA.com cam. Oh, that's high level with the crush cars. Bartle has struggled a little bit this year. Remember, on the high note, he ended last year as one of the best trucks in the world final. Still trying to get that feel for the truck that was winning in Minneapolis and almost winning the World Finals a year ago. Next spin, Wolverine. He's got good momentum here. Brian has been one who really specialized in wheelies and, and haven't seen him try to pop one yet. Any kind of power wheelies, or the, especially the slap wheelies, where he really was able to make his name in Little Tiger. And you got to wonder, coming back from that injured back, if he's not trying to be just a little bit careful and safe, early on coming back from the injury. You might be absolutely right, Mike, no doubt about it. Although he's getting around here pretty good. It's not that daring that I think we're used to seeing out of uh, out of Ryan. He 
He might try some. No, I thought he was going to try to slap Lee there, but he didn't. Good momentum. Looks like he's going to use the full time. I don't think he's showing the judges anything they haven't seen before, though, and that may hurt him at score time here. Coming over again. Now, he needs to really finish strong here. I don't know, he's, he's, he's lost the momentum. Something's not right, but he just shuts her down. So, wasn't really able to get the full 90, and, and at the end, he didn't have a whole lot going. Something went wrong with the truck. Don't think it's going to be good enough to beat Norm Miller's 27, but we will see as the judges hold up their cards. 20 points, 20 for Brian Bardo. As you came in, it looked like the truck kind of broke down on you a bit. I mean, you pulled it in. However, you pulled it in with some difficulty. Yeah, I got some wheels locked up. I think I broke another ring and pinion in the rear. I've got one last weekend and another one this weekend. Hey, what's the deal? First you fix your back, now you gotta fix the whole truck? Yeah, just keep rebuilding it, I guess. Just fix it and fix it till, till I get it right. Well, if I know Brian, he will get it right. We told you that the Pro Stadium trucks are here tonight and they've been a thrill for these fans as much as anything. Let's find out more about them in our What's That All About segment. What's the cool thing about it? The rush. Flying 18 feet in the air, landing, rolling. We don't have to spend the big money to go out west coast. It's just an economical way to have fun. Winning a dome race. People, I mean, I, I'm fortunate to you know, have I'm fortunate to have won a couple of them, and, and, you know, God willing, I'm going to try it again. Well, Rory Campbell in on the edge against Chris McCoy and the Mac Attack in the semifinals of our Pro Stadium trucks. McCoy has been tough all year on the circuit. Campbell, one of the tough veterans. This time, though, he's on his side. Wow. That's what you call really on the edge. Mac I'll Attack wins you. it. It's tough for these Pro Stadiums in these turns sometimes, too, to oh, hold. Yeah. No doubt about it. He just high-sided her, got up, and over she went. Now the other semifinal. It's Rick Armbrust and the Rancho Ford against General Lee Jeff Dedick. And Rick Arbrust, another one who's just a veteran trying to grab that TNN win. These guys, like the monster trucks, really take it up when the TV cameras get here. And it is the Rancho Ford to draw the final round race against Chris McCoy's Mac Attack. Really impressed with the way this Ford, this Rancho Ford, is running in these pro stadiums. He's been strong from the very beginning. You know, it's a great matchup here because Chris McCoy as well, through this entire season, has been a guy you could expect almost to guarantee to make it to the semifinals. That Rancho Ford's a beautiful truck, though, isn't it? Really is, and it's running awfully strong in the finals, and indeed, it looks like Rancho... Final turn, and I think he's got the edge. You're right. He's ahead by a little bit. Can he get it? Yes. yes. Whoa, that was a good race. Oh, it was close. Great win for Rick Arbrust in the Rancho Ford. How was that Georgia Clay to run on? It was great. We loved it. That uh, Rancho suspension was working great for us here and sucking up the bumps, and we loved it. It was great. Good job. Congrats. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, moving on. We're moving back to freestyle, and we've got a lot of high-flying trucks on the way. Monster Jam from the Georgia Dome. Coming up. Screw that van up. What the heck is that all about? Let's go, man. I'm getting time to take a nap in here. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Well, we're ready for him to go, Jim Kohler. Let's see what he can do with freestyle. I know he really wants.